Lots of people have been asking in the comments on Twitter and virtually everywhere else I look why it is that almost no one is talking about the Kevin Spacey case going on in court in London as we speak. The simple reason is, in my view, is that because of the nature of the allegations against him, which I'm not going to repeat for reasons I'm going to explain, is that these videos are not going to get many views because they'll be filtered out by the algorithm if you talk in any kind of detail about what's going on because of the nature of those allegations. Case in point, if I look at a Sky News video on exactly Kevin Spacey's uh, trial, it had just 6,300 views from five days ago. And it says, what is Kevin Spacey in court for and what are the allegations against him? Now, you can go and look at that video for yourself to hear exactly what's um, going on in that trial. But in very simple terms, I'm going to say that there are 12 very serious charges against him of a particular nature. He's pleaded not guilty to all 12 charges. Uh, the court was not concerned that he's you know, not going to come back to court and everything else. So he had unconditional bail, as I remember, from when he was uh, first appearing in court. And so far, jurors have been played a recording of the first complainant's police interview uh, before someone who has been granted lifelong anonymity under UK law. Now, because of the nature of the charges against him, anyone that is accused of such a crime is given automatic and lifelong anonymity unless they choose to waive it. Now, the jurors will hear the evidence from the complainant in a police interview, but they will maintain that anonymity. And this allegation has said that there's been um, various instances that they've reported and complained of, um, of up to 12 times from this one person and that they happened in a car or in a lift or at any time when they were alone. And there's obviously a lot more detail which you can read about on, let's say, BBC that goes into exactly what has been put across to each of these and the line of cross-examination and so on. But simply put, I wanted to address this because indeed not that many creators are spending time and effort in producing a video about it because it's not likely to get views and it's not likely to grow the channel. So without wanting to sound like I'm only doing this for views, of course I'm creating videos for views. Everybody creating videos, especially if you're not a news corporation, are creating these videos for views. We want the videos to get views and we want them to grow the channel. And also we don't want the algorithm to punish the channel and shadow ban and all of that sort of stuff if that's really what happens. I don't know for a fact that that's what happens, but many people suspect that that's what happens. And so that's just my take on why not that many people are doing videos on this subject. You can go and read about it and I'll report on what actually happens at the end of this trial. Um, but suffice to say that some of these complaints are over 20 years ago. So many of them are historic complaints, which will be very difficult to prove. And so with many things with complaints this old, they are very often very difficult to convince a jury about. But nonetheless, I'll come back and report as to what happens on these 12 charges as the trial progresses and as the trial concludes. So that's just to address the question that's been asked a few times now. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.